Hey yo, what it do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MV10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today is some NBA 2K23 Next Gen. Now, as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, and what's on the screen for you, what I have happens to be the best Jason Tatum build in NBA 2K23 Next Gen. And yes, it is based around his playoff play, even though he's been shooting kind of terribly here and there. But the boy is still performing, so we gotta make a build for him. Plus, it was requested, so you know how it is. You request the build, I make it. Now, I do gotta say a special shout out to you guys for the request because I do enjoy seeing you guys in that comment section. So if you do have a build you wanna see me make on this channel, do me a favor, go ahead and drop that comment down below because I always do respond to those and try and make the ones I can. And also, if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on because YouTube does have a little stat that shows a lot of you that watch the videos are unsubscribed. And lastly but not least, if you enjoyed today's video and you wanna see more content like this, do me a favor, go ahead, ahead and hit that like button. We are trying to get at least 30 likes on this video. We were able to get at least 23 on the LeBron one. Now, as most of you know, Jason Tatum is the starting small forward, right-handed jersey number zero for the Boston Celtics, who are currently down 2-0 to my Miami Heat. Shout out to Jimmy Butler. Uh, Hi, wise it does coming at six foot eight while weighing about 210 pounds and having a wingspan measured in at about six foot 11. Body shape wise, I always say go compact just because it looks smoothest when you're playing the game. Now, as most of you know, season seven of NBA 2K23 Next Gen just kicked off last night and I'm finna play it a little bit more, so I'm, I'm most likely gonna be streaming on Twitch, so if you haven't yet, do me a favor, go ahead and follow the Twitch. Also, join the Discord. Links to all of that is in the description because we do wanna grow this community a little bit more. Now, getting straight into the build, first things first, we decided to go with the physicals of an 81 on the speed, and when I say we, I mean me and Samuel, because Samuel did help me make this build. 81 on the speed, 78 on the Excel, just because as most of you know, Jason Tatum is kind of fast, but he's not one of the fastest bigs on the floor. Stamina-wise, gave him an 87, and then on the vertical side of things, gave him a 75, because he does have the ability to get up there even though we don't see him get up there a lot on dunks but we do see him get up there quite a bit on lifts strength went up to a 36 but this was predetermined by the fact of how we put his driving layup and his perimeter defense so to get into the finishing we decided to go with an 86 when he came to the driving dunk because as you know that allows us the ability of getting all pro contact dunks as well as gold limitless take and gold aerial wizard and then on the driving layup side of things i had to go higher than usual usually i go with like an 80 to get hall of fame giant slayer but i wanted to get an 85 one for the extra batch point and two because at an 84 you get that gold acrobat which in my personal opinion Jason Tatum deserves because if you see him play a lot of his finishing at the cup is a lot of acrobatic layups. On the close shot side of things decided to give him a 76 because it helps with the batch count plus it also allows us to get that silver masher which for Jason Tatum when he's inside and he gets a little mismatch against a smaller guy he usually does take advantage of it. Now with the 16 total finishing batch points if you're me I throw one extra batch point on here because you do get a plus one from finishing season seven and I put at core limitless takeoff slap on slithery not actually yeah at quarter limit let's take slap on posterizer and then from there it's your choice of the tier ones and tier twos or you could easily slap on slithery if you really want to be like jt because as we said he loves to finish with layups more than dunks now shooting wise we did have to pay a little bit of respect to the boy's shooting game because that is his strength we decided to go with an 86 when it comes to mid-range jump shot just because he's a great shot creator when he's inside and i wanted to be able to get that hall of fame guard up for him on this build and then when it came to the three ball went with an 85 because as he is a great shot creator inside, he also has a knack for creating shots on the outside, whether that be threes or just limitless shots, which is why we wanted the ability of getting both silver agent threes as well as silver limitless on this build, which needed an 85 on the three ball. And then to make it usable within the rec plus his ability to shoot free throws, we decided to get the build an 80 on the free throw rating. Now as you can see, this does mean you get 25 total shooting badge points. If you finish the previous season where you have the ability of double coring, I'd most likely slap double coring here just so you could easily get Actually, I wouldn't slap it here. I just simply core limitless range, slap on dead eye or blinders, and then from there, agent three guard up, and then your choice of tier one and tier two badges that determine your sort of playstyle. Now, playmaking wise, we decided to go with an 85 when it comes to the ball handle because it allows us to get that gold quick first step. Could have gone with an 89, really, but we went with an 85 just because we wanted to get at least gold. Because for those of you who watched the man play, when he gets out of his triple threat or his little size ups, he explodes out and gets past defenders. And then on the speed with ball, decided to go with a 77 because it does get us a little extra badge point. And pass accuracy wise, went with a 74 because, yeah. He's not known as the league's greatest passer, but he does average about four assists a game, which makes a whole lot of sense when you see him move the ball around in Boston, even though they play that two-man game between him and Jalen Brown. Now, 20 total playmaking badge points. Again, your choice, my personal opinion, core killer combos, quick first step, vice grip at like silver, and then from there, it's your choice of how you want to run things on this build. Now, defensively, this is where the build really stands out because it can guard most positions. I say most because I won't include the five, just because there can be some really strong fives in this game in which it's hard to guard them but it will be able to contest them inside. So we went with a 61 on the interior defense, firstly, to get a low bash point. When it came to the perimeter defense, put this all the way up to a 79 because JT is a decent perimeter defender. 
plus at a 79 we do get the ability to get in silver challenger as well as bronze clamps on the steel side of things over to 78 because as most of you know that does allow us the capability of getting that silver interceptor and then on the block side of things you always got to go to 75 at the very minimum on these taller on these forward builds just because it allows you to get that gold chase darn artist paired up with bronze anchor my personal opinion is you always also want to get your block kind of high because it helps with shot contests and then on the rebounding side of things as most of you know the boy does average damn near 10 rebounds in the playoffs we decided to go with an 85 when it comes to the defensive rebound because that's where majority of his boards come from and a 78 when it comes to the offensive rebound just because we wanted to get that extra little badge count plus he does also crash the offensive glass now in total this does mean we finish with 22 total defensive badge points if you're me again i would core challenger and then from there, I'd slap on a bunch of badges that would help a lot with rebounding. So I'd most likely go box out beast, workhorse. I might put on chase down artist at silver, poco stick at silver, and then maybe rebound chaser. Just because this build is mainly meant to be a stretch four, or sorry, a stretch three, who can do a lot on both sides of the ball. Now in total, this does mean we finish with 22 defensive, 20 playmaking, 25 shooting, and 16 finishing badges, giving us a grand total of 41, 61, 83 total badge points on this build. And if you've managed to finish all previous seasons of NBA 2K23 next gen, that puts you somewhere about 90 total badge points on this year Jason Tatum build. Now to start off with, when it comes to takeovers, I'd possibly go with negative impact for the first one because it reduces the impact of shot contests against pull-ups, step backs, and spin shots which are quite a lot, which are, yeah, quite a lot of his dumb shots are. And then on the secondary one, I would most likely say advanced gatherers. This makes a whole lot of sense if you've watched this play because he does have effective Euro spin hops and cradle gathers when he is getting to the hoop, is, which is why we gotta run this as a secondary take. Now, the players we do get in the shades of for this build happen to be none other than Gerald Wallace, Jason Tatum, and Andrew Wiggins makes a whole lot of sense because all three of them do play somewhat the same the only difference is JT is a way better three-point shooter than Gerald Wallace and slightly better than Andrew Wiggins now the name of the build is a three-level scorer which you would expect because again he is a three-level scorer however as most of you know this is basically a two-way three-level scorer because it does come with a lot of great defense now as I mentioned before hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video which if you did don't forget to do me a favor go and drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notes on. And lastly but not least, don't forget to drop a comment down below telling me what other builds you want to see us make on the channel as well as anything else you might want to see on the channel because I do enjoy interacting with you guys and I do enjoy making these depending on what you want to see. But yeah, it's been your boy Alvin MB10 aka AMR10. Don't forget we'll be streaming on Twitch. Follow the Twitch, link in the description and also join the Discord because we did make it so that you guys would have a place to talk to me. But yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.